those who have um, questions about the relationship between the Free State Project and Free Staters and such organizations, that engaging in dialogue directly with them is probably helpful, um, as, a, as opposed to kind of going around the, the back end. And if that's, not, if that's not helpful, maybe trying other Free Staters, because there are Free Staters who have disagreements, and that could be true, for example, in politics. If, so uh, going back to the right to work issue, you know, if you if if you go, man, this is, I can't believe that any free stater would support a right to work law. I mean, come on, Jason. Um, then the thing to do would be to talk directly to Jason or the other people who are supporting that, and and then maybe um, talk to uh, people who they know. So, for example, I know Jason, so I could, if somebody said, hey, would you talk to Jason about X, Y, Z? You know, maybe it was he was rude, or maybe it was he supports right to work. I mean, both things could be a problem. And uh, <laughs> then I might be able to broach the subject with Jason and say, hey, look, let's have a conversation about this. And sometimes that can be effective. Even if, even if it's not immediate, people change slowly. And uh, so that can have an impact. Um, another thing that might happen, and I'm a freaking blogger, so I guess I'm qualified to, uh, to represent them, um, or at least represent my own opinion as, as part of that organization, uh, reaching out to us directly and talking about actual issues might be a huge deal because basically what we get when people disagree with me with what we do is a barrage of personal abuse and insult and and you do this and you do that and a lot of it's not true and most of it's inaccurate but nobody actually has ever come from the from the Stop Free Keen organization and has said this is what we actually disagree with politically. It's always just ad hominem, ad hominem, ad hominem, and you cannot communicate with nothing but a stream of logical fallacies. Uh, so I would recommend that if you want to see behave, see different behavior from uh, Free Keen, or if you have specific issues with specific things that we do, we don't bite. We absolutely will never do violence against you, no matter what you say to us. So please feel free to, to meet at a coffee shop with one of us and one on one see if we can establish a dialogue. Because you know, we're here to get ideas out and we make we make a lot of noise. If somebody comes into a party with a bullhorn and screams, there's a fire going on outside. Yes, it's a rude thing to do, but but there's a reason for 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 doing it, and perhaps dialogue could help to uh, resolve that. So I'll try to try to summarize that as quickly as I can for the viewers. That uh, on behalf of Free Keen or a Free Keen blogger, and you're a Free Stater as well. I am a Free Stater. Um, and uh, so and some. Free, free Keen and Free State Project are not the same thing. Uh, uh, there's some Free Keeners who are Free Staters, and there are some Free Staters who are Free Keeners, but it's not a 100% uh, overlap. So uh, the request is come talk to us personally, and uh, rather than um, simply uh, delivering insults to try to ask questions or uh, cite specific either policy issues or behavioral issues that could be a problem. And for, as far as organizations getting back to that same uh, kind of theme, I would, I would say the same thing with organizations. If you think an organization is promoting something that's bad, um, I could give an example for, uh, of, let's say, cop block. You know, uh, one view would be that they're holding police accountable for bad behavior. Another view would be that they're harassing police. So there's two sides to that coin, and somebody who has an opinion that um, such an organization, which again is not part of the Free State Project, um, is doing something bad, then you would want to approach that organization and, and you know, failing that, people who are friendly to them and failing that, then uh, speak publicly specifically about what the uh, problematic issues are. And I would add that that kind of communication does happen among free staters. I mean, if you look at our forum or our nowadays more on Facebook, you'll see that free staters are often criticizing each other. You know, yep. Why did you yell at that meter maid? That was not a good idea. It was rude. It was stupid. Uh, people love you as long as you're feeding the meters. But when you start yelling at people, it's bad. <laughs> that's, a, that's something that free staters will say to other free staters about um, 
uh, about activities uh, that may go on, and and you know it's a part of a robust discussion, and um, and you know it's that's that's humanity, right? That we, and that, we that's disagree. that's true both of tactics, like how you approach people, and of policy issues. There's a lot of discussion, and I think it could be accurate to say as much criticism as some. Uh, free Staters or the Free State Project in general has received from outside of the Free State Project, um, we're probably a lot of times more critical of each other uh, than, than we get from the outside, which in a way is a good thing. It helps us to improve our understanding of the positions and methods, what, what things um, will attract rather than repel. And I think it's very important that we try to be attractive rather than repulsive. Uh, we, we need to wrap up, but if you have one quick thing to add, uh, yeah, it actually is very quick. On the yelling at meter maids issues, I can tell you I was in jail when that was going on, but there was a great deal of debate even within Free Team about that, and I for one refused to Robin Hood until I could make it clear that I was doing nothing but putting money in, in meters, and I never said anything to meter maids, but top of the morning to you, man. <laughs> and that was... That, that's my style of doing it. I don't think that, for the same reason that I don't think running around yelling at me is effective, I don't think running around yelling at other people is necessarily effective either. You can't, the ad, homs, ad hominem contributes nothing to this. So, so some people even in Free Keen, whether they're free staters or not, disagree about whether you at least say yelling at people is a bad idea, even if they're meter maids. And I would tend to agree with that. So, and thank you for that. And, the, and so there's debate, there's debate amongst free staters and between free staters and non-free staters. Um, I guess to tie a bow on this, we're, we're, we come here, you know, going back to Jason's original uh, idea, we've come here to try to elevate the level of discourse and hopefully implementation of libertarian or freedom-oriented ideas um, in an actual place in the actual world, and this is that place. And uh, so now there's, you know, 1,800 or so here, 1,500 of whom have moved, and, uh, and then another 2,500 friends. And so we look forward to more, uh, I hope, in the future discussion between, of course, amongst ourselves, but also between us and people who live here in New Hampshire, to figure out how we can do that and do it in ways that are good for everybody, as good as we can make it for everybody. So that's the idea, and I appreciate all of you, free stater or otherwise, coming out and uh, asking questions and listening to the answers. And, uh, and with that, do you have anything to add? I think that sums it up nicely. Thanks for coming. Thank you for coming.